we take a look at some of the most incredible machines out there. We begin with a weird robot called the Snake Arm Explorer. And this one's able to go into very tricky areas, with an extension over 10 feet, along with 180 degree pivoting. It is driven by wire ropes, with the motors, electronics, and all the controls situated at the base. Tools include a laser cutter, a welder, and even a high pressure water jet. Combined with HD cameras, it's suitable for a wide range of maintenance applications. We move on to the Mechanical Horse, and it's a very incredible animated kinetic sculpture created by Adrian Landon in his metal shop. It has over 100 ball variants, custom made sprockets, and animated joints. And if that wasn't enough, the same creator has made multiple variants, with the latest one incorporating wings with fire outlets. So make sure to check out his link in my description for supporting his future work. A next level interactive display combines 3D printing, computer vision, and microcontrollers. It is composed of 90 mechanical blooms, which can be individually controlled by hand gestures. A 3D printed framework connects all of these motorized parts together. Will this attribute to the future house? I'm not really sure, but maybe we'll see some sort of transparent door or something which can be controlled by this animation. Those long continuous curved curbs are now easily created by this particular forming machine. It has rotary slew drives on each track for extreme steering. Each leg also has a smart hydraulic cylinder, allowing for precise three-dimensional adjustments so it can handle change in elevations. The complex contraption also has four vibrators, along with independent troweling for concrete finishing. The ship unloader is exactly what it sounds like, and some of these machines can get very big, but the mini unit can transport to the site and unload ships at 500 tons an hour. The folding structure is mounted on a semi-trailer for easy transportation between docks only taking about 30 minutes for setup. A screw type conveyor provides continuous, high capacity unloading, and in turn this cuts shipping costs. The next position is more of a process utilizing multiple machines, and it basically cures in place resin, and basically these fill in old pipes. And this can range all the way from house rentals to large sewer pipes. The liner is pulled into place with a conveyor belt and a cable winching system. Once it is in place, the alpha liner is pressurized and cured with ultraviolet light. The largest variants are up to 6 feet in diameter, with up to 100 years of service life. A very unique elevator style emergency evacuation system was developed recently. It carries people down a series of elevators without the use of electricity. Descent is controlled by weight with an automatic reset for the next evacuee. The primary purpose is for evacuation, but it does require organization, which is definitely not a guarantee in that type of situation. We have covered some unique construction processes and some machines that you probably have never heard of. And now we get into the weird world of machine learning. Obviously automation is taking over the agricultural industry. And it's a pretty debatable topic because it replaces labor, but it could lower consumer costs if regulated properly. And that's a big if. In the end, we will likely see larger commercial companies utilize these types of machines for better yields. This particular harvester incorporates a 360 degree LiDAR with 16 independent extensions for picking. A central machine learning vision based system determines if the fruit is ripe enough to be picked. And as of right now, it is not harvesting humans. I tried to save the best machines for last, and one of the most incredible 3D printers can produce virtually any material. It is a 6000 degree microwave based plasma additive manufacturing machine. It's capable of producing nano sized powders, and basically it deposits materials on targeted substrates through plasma spray deposition. Immediate applications include lighting, advanced coatings, custom magnets, and even batteries. With engineered chemistries for both cathode and anode, the 6K can make a solid state storage device, which is arguably the future of battery technology. Only time will tell if this machine holds up, but for now, it is one of the most anticipated 3D printing machines. The infamous CT scanner has changed a lot of people's lives for the better. And now the next generation machine has been revealed. It's the Alpha PCCT, and it's a photon counting computated machine, which captures ultra high definition, full color images. The detectors on a PCCT can directly transform X-ray photons into electrical signals. 
So there is less noise and the pixel count is significantly higher. Previous CT scanners had a dual process and there was noise degradation in the conversion process. So this particular machine will advance diagnosis in multiple medical fields. It will also benefit patients with lower radiation doses and reduced agent use. But more importantly, I would like to know what you think about all these different machines. So once again, thanks for watching. Please like the video if you enjoyed it and also make sure to subscribe to my channel.